Dude, that is a totally awesome costume. I thought it was like how going to be dressed up today. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my god. Oh, I'm John Corn. Hello, good prom. How's everybody doing? Ooh, enthusiastic crowd. I dig it. Uh, a little bit about me. I was born Irish and Catholic. Uh, as a, someone said sorry. <laughs> really? Uh, as a good <laughs> okay, as a good Catholic though, they tell you I have to give up something for Lent, so this year I gave up my New Year's resolution. <laughs> I grew up in like an evangelical Christian neighborhood, and they would say stuff like, you're going to hell because you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, and they say this to my Jewish friends. And my thing is, instead of telling them they're going to hell, just tell them they can eat bacon. <laughs> right? Because bacon gets not done, let's face it. Bacon with this tomato, bacon and eggs, six degrees of Kevin, uh, Kevin Bacon. I, I'm saying, I was like, I'm popular, that was interesting. I'm saying, wait till man's heart is through his stomach, you know? But, but we just celebrated uh, Columbus Day. And that's a Catholic holiday. I don't know if how many of you guys know that. It's a Catholic holiday. I don't understand why he has a holiday anyway. He gets a holiday for getting lost. He's trying to find a spice route to India and ended up in the Caribbean. So, yeah, of course, I think. Uh, typical man didn't ask directions. All he had to do, go to any 7-Eleven and they could have told him where India was. <laughs> I personally want to come out with the Columbus GPS, you know? The Columbus GPS sends you where you never intended to go. Formerly Apple Maps. <laughs> no, but, but here's the thing. Thanksgiving's coming up. Before you know it, Thanksgiving's going to be here. I'm glad to have a holiday uh, where you can be thankful for what you have, but the story behind Thanksgiving doesn't make any sense. Okay, it's about these white people. Because it's always about white people, right? It's about these white people. And, and, and here's the thing. They were hungry. And so the Indian people felt sorry for them, so they broke bread at the very same table. Feeding them. You know what they say? When you feed them, they'll never go away. I talk about the second Thanksgiving, and nobody else does. The second Thanksgiving is when the Indian people are cold, and the white people get blankets. Too soon for a smallpox joke. <laughs> Tell the tears is like 200 years ago, what? Okay, fine, fine. Okay, any parents in the audience here? I thought, okay. This is for you guys. You tell your kids all year long, don't talk to strangers, and then you sit them on Santa's lap and you wonder why they cry? <laughs> really? Is it, is it that or is it because he's creepy? I mean, who else can get away with saying stuff like, sit on my lap, little girl, and uh, <laughs> tell Santa what you really want? <sighs> Have you been naughty? You want to be on my nice list? Are you, uh, oh, oh, oh. Do you want me to fill your stocking with something yummy? You know, I've been watching you. Yes. I know when you're sleeping. <laughs> yes, I've been watching you. And I know when you're awake. <laughs> want to suck my candy cane, little girl? It's just creepy. It's just creepy. It's almost as creepy as Jared. Okay, here's the thing about Jared. He gets sentenced 6 to 12 for being a pedophile. And here's the thing. 6 to 12 is also his preferred age range. 